And if I had to uh, single out one single moment that gave me the greatest pride in my three missions, it was on the second mission when I had to capture uh, a free-flying spacecraft called Spartan 207, uh, which we had released uh, a couple of days before and which we had to now recover and bring back to Earth. Endeavor Houston for uh, Spartan. Go ahead. Yeah, at this point, our, our, what we'd like to do real quickly is uh, see if we can get a view uh, of the top of the Spartan and then go ahead and proceed with the berth and RMS power down. Okay, and that's exactly where we were going, Bill. Uh, rotating it now. Thanks, John. You got a good downlink? Affirmative. And this is really when you're, you're uh, <laughs> it's when the rubber hits the road, you have to uh, capture it. And it's different from, you know, uh, capturing a payload that's in the payload bay that's fixed. Uh, if you aren't, aren't successful, the payload you're trying to grab is not going to go anywhere. But if you make a mistake trying to grab a free-flying satellite, and remember, you and the orbiter are both moving around the Earth in tandem at 28,000 kilometers per hour. But if you do it wrongly, there's the potential for you to cause unwanted motion in your spacecraft, and then it's an extremely challenging task to be able to recover it after that. So I felt that was the moment when uh, I really had to be successful, and uh, and it's the moment it, it worked out, and uh, and it gave me a huge amount of pride being a Canadian to operate that Canadarm and to ca capture a free flying payload.